China just shocked the world with what they're building, and you need to see this. While the rest of us were sleeping, they've been constructing technologies so advanced they sound like science fiction. We're talking about artificial suns, quantum satellites, and engineering projects that defy belief. Forget everything you thought you knew about what's possible. Because what you're about to discover will leave you speechless. Let's start with something that's rewriting the rules of energy itself. The artificial sun, East Fusion Reactor. You're looking at a machine that burns hotter than the core of the sun. China's Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak East, for short, isn't just breaking records. It's breaking the laws of what we thought was possible. This thing reached 120 million degrees Celsius. That's seven times hotter than the sun's core. And they held it there for over 100 seconds. But here's why this matters to you. Every power plant on Earth right now, coal, gas, nuclear, they're all just fancy ways of boiling water. They create waste. They run out. They pollute. Fusion doesn't. It's the same reaction that powers the stars. And if China cracks it first, they'll have unlimited clean energy. Forever. The tension? Every major power has been chasing fusion for 70 years. It's always been 30 years away. But China just held plasma at those insane temperatures longer than anyone in history. They're not chasing anymore. They're leading. But that reactor isn't the only thing they've launched into the impossible. 9. The Quantum Satellite. Missias. Imagine sending a message that's physically impossible to hack. Not hard to hack. Impossible. China launched the world's first quantum communication satellite in 2016, and it changed everything. They named it Misius, after an ancient Chinese philosopher. And this little satellite is doing something that sounds like magic. Here's the setup. Traditional encryption can be broken. Given enough time and computing power, any code can be cracked. But quantum communication? It uses the actual laws of physics. If someone tries to intercept the message, the quantum state collapses. The message destroys itself. You'd know instantly that someone was listening. China proved it works. They sent quantum encrypted messages from space to Earth across 7,600 kilometers. Unhackable video calls between Beijing and Vienna. While other countries were still theorizing, China was already doing it. And the payoff? They're building an entire quantum communication network a quantum internet that spans the globe. When that's complete, China will have the most secure communications infrastructure on the planet. But while they were securing their communications from space, they were also building something massive down on Earth. 8. The Three Gorges Dam Picture a wall of concrete 1.4 miles wide and 607 feet tall, holding back a reservoir that stretches for 373 miles. The Three Gorges Dam isn't just big, it's almost incomprehensibly massive, and it generates more power than any other single facility on Earth. This dam produces 22,500 megawatts of electricity. That's enough to power countries like Switzerland, Austria, and New Zealand. It took 17 years to build and required relocating 1.3 million people. They moved mountains. They drowned entire cities. And when the reservoir filled... The weight of the water was so enormous, it literally slowed Earth's rotation by 0.06 microseconds. But here's the real tension. Engineers said it couldn't be done. The Yangtze River was too powerful, too unpredictable. The geological challenges were insurmountable. The scale was beyond human capability. They did it anyway. And now, every year, this single structure prevents catastrophic flooding that used to kill thousands. It generates clean power for hundreds of millions of people. It's a testament to what happens when engineering ambition has no ceiling. But if you think damming a river is impressive, wait until you see what they did to the ocean. 7. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge You're driving across the ocean. Suddenly, the bridge disappears and you're descending into an underwater tunnel. You're 40 meters below the surface, with massive cargo ships passing overhead. Then you emerge on the other side, back onto the bridge, continuing your journey across the sea. This is the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. At 35 miles long, it's the longest sea crossing bridge in the world. 
but the length isn't even the crazy part. Here's what they had to solve. You can't just build a bridge across one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. Ships need to pass. So, they built a four-mile underwater tunnel. In the middle of the ocean, they constructed massive artificial islands at each tunnel entrance just to support the transition points. The tension kept building. This region gets hit by typhoons, earthquakes, the water is deep, and the currents are vicious. The bridge needed to last 120 years while being constantly battered by nature. The payoff? It's built like a fortress. It can withstand magnitude 8 earthquakes, category 16 typhoons, and it's changed everything for the region. What used to be a four-hour drive is now 30 minutes. Three major cities, connected by an engineering miracle that wasn't supposed to be possible. But China wasn't done connecting things. 6. The high-speed rail network. You board a train in Beijing. You're having coffee and catching up on work. Three hours later, you're in Shanghai, 800 miles away. You traveled faster than most airplanes fly, without even noticing. China has built 28,000 miles of high-speed rail. That's more than the rest of the world combined. And they did it in just 15 years. But the real marvel is the Shanghai Maglev. This train doesn't even touch the tracks. It levitates using magnetic fields and hits 280 miles per hour on its regular route. It's the fastest commercial train on Earth. You cover 19 miles in 7 minutes. Here's the tension. Every other developed nation spent decades building their high-speed rail networks. Japan's took 40 years, Europe's even longer. The engineering challenges, the costs, the logistics, it's a generational project. China did it faster than anyone thought possible. They laid track across deserts, through mountains, over rivers. They built bridges and tunnels at a pace that seemed reckless. Except, it worked. Now, 1.4 billion people have access to transportation infrastructure that most of the world can only dream of. And they didn't stop at ground transportation. 5. The Space Station. Tiangong. There's a space station orbiting Earth right now that most people don't even know about. While the International Space Station ages and politics complicate its future, China built their own. Tiangong, the heavenly palace, is completely operational, completely independent, and completely theirs. They assembled it in orbit piece by piece. The core module, laboratory modules, cargo spacecraft, all launched and connected with precision. It's designed to operate for at least 15 years, hosting astronauts conducting experiments in microgravity. But here's what makes this incredible. China was excluded from the International Space Station, banned by U.S. law from collaborating with NASA. So they built their own space program from scratch. The payoff is staggering. They've landed rovers on Mars and the far side of the moon places no one else has touched. They've returned lunar samples. They're planning a crude moon landing. They went from zero to space superpower in three decades. And while they were conquering space, they were revolutionizing something that might seem impossible on the ground. 4. The jumping supercar, BYD Yangwang U9. You're driving at high speed. Suddenly there's a massive pothole ahead, the kind that would destroy your suspension and ruin your day. Your car sees it and jumps over it. The BYD Yangwang U9 is a 1,287 horsepower electric supercar that can literally leap into the air. This isn't some gimmick. It's a technological breakthrough in active suspension that borders on the impossible. Here's the setup. BYD built a system called the Desus X Intelligent Body Control. Each wheel has its own independently controlled hydraulic actuator. The car can adjust the height and stiffness of each corner in milliseconds. But they didn't stop there. They made it powerful enough to actually launch the vehicle off the ground. When the sensors detect a pothole, road spike, or debris, the system compresses the suspension, then releases it explosively. The car literally hops over the obstacle. All four wheels leave the ground. You stay level, comfortable, protected. The obstacle passes harmlessly underneath. But here's where the tension mounted. Making a car jump is easy. Just hit a ramp, 
making it jump on command, land safely, and keep the passengers comfortable? That requires computing power, sensor precision, and mechanical strength that seemed impossible to integrate into a street-legal vehicle. The payoff is spectacular. The U9 can bounce on three wheels. If one gets a flat, it just redistributes the load and keeps driving. It can drive through flooded roads by sealing the cabin and using the motors as propulsion. And yes, it can jump over road hazards at speed, while you barely feel a thing inside. BYD took a supercar that already hit 060 inches just over two seconds and added the ability to defy physics itself. Yet even as they made cars that could jump, they were building cars that could think. 3. The AI Brain Car, Huawei 80M9. Picture a car that doesn't just drive itself, it understands the world around it like a human brain does. The Huawei AITO M9 doesn't use traditional autonomous driving. It uses an AI that actually comprehends what it's seeing. This car has 27 sensors, creating a 360-degree view of reality. But here's what makes it revolutionary. Most self-driving cars follow programming rules. If obstacle, then brake. The M9's AI brain actually recognizes what things are and predicts what they'll do. It sees a ball rolling into the street and knows a child might chase it. It spots a driver texting and predicts they might drift lanes. Huawei built an AI chip called the Ascend 910 specifically for this car. It processes 400 trillion operations per second. The car is essentially thinking faster than any human possibly could, analyzing every scenario, every risk, every potential outcome, all simultaneously. But then came the real test. Chinese roads are chaos compared to the controlled environments where most autonomous cars are tested. Scooters weaving through traffic. Pedestrians jaywalking. Construction zones with no warning signs. Street vendors. Random animals. The M9 handles it all. The AI brain adapts to unpredictable scenarios that would confuse traditional autonomous systems. It doesn't just react, it anticipates. Drivers report the car making defensive maneuvers before they even realize danger exists. It's like having a professional driver with superhuman reflexes permanently behind the wheel. And while that AI was learning to navigate streets, an even more powerful intelligence was being built elsewhere. Two, the AI surveillance and smart city network. There are over 700 million surveillance cameras in China. That's roughly one camera for every two people. But these aren't just recording. They're watching, analyzing, and recognizing you in real time. The facial recognition AI can identify individuals from a database of billions in seconds. It tracks people across multiple cameras, following their movements through entire cities. The system analyzes behavior patterns, detects unusual activity, and can even predict crimes before they happen based on pattern recognition. Here's where it gets wild. In smart cities like Shenzhen and Hangzhou, AI controls traffic lights in real time, optimizing flow based on live conditions. It manages energy grids, adjusting power distribution based on demand predictions. It monitors air quality and automatically implements measures to reduce pollution. The tension is undeniable. This level of surveillance and control makes a lot of people uncomfortable. But from a pure technology standpoint, the scale and sophistication is unprecedented. Chinese cities are becoming the most efficient urban environments on Earth. Traffic jams reduced by 15%. Emergency response times cut in half. Energy waste minimized. It's urban management powered by AI on a scale no other country has matched. But all that computing power needed infrastructure. 1. The Sunway Taihu Light Supercomputer Inside a facility in Wuxi sits a machine performing 93 quadrillion calculations per second. That's 93 followed by 15 zeros. The Sunway Taihu Light isn't just fast, it's operating at a level of computational power that seems almost alien. But here's what makes this truly shocking. When the U.S. banned China from buying advanced computer chips, everyone assumed their supercomputing program would collapse. China needed those chips. There was no way around it. They built their own, from scratch. Every processor in the Sunway Taihu Light is designed and manufactured in China. No foreign components, 
no dependencies, and it became one of the fastest supercomputers ever built. The payoff is mind-bending. This machine is simulating nuclear explosions, so China doesn't need physical tests. It's modeling Earth's entire climate system. It's designing aircraft and submarines by running millions of virtual simulations. It's accelerating drug discovery by modeling molecular interactions at scales that were impossible before. When the world tried to slow them down by cutting off technology, China didn't just catch up, they leapfrogged. They proved that restrictions wouldn't stop them, it would just force them to build everything themselves. And that might be the most incredible thing China has built. Not just these individual technologies, but an entire innovation ecosystem that can create whatever it needs, regardless of what the rest of the world does.